good morning children hope all are safe staying at home i'm going to take english for you all the continuation of what shabha miss has taken in the first lesson that is page 14 i'm going to take main clause independent clause and subordinate clause or dependent clause now a clause may be a complete sentence or it may not be a complete sentence now clauses are of two types the main clause or independent clause and subordinate clause or dependent clause now what is the meaning of main clause or independent clause from that word independent we come to know that independent the word means free so main clause or independent clause is a sentence which has or which makes a complete sense and it can stand alone it does not depend upon any other sentences but a subordinate clause or a dependent clause it means that it is depending upon another sentence to be completed it does not have a complete meaning and it cannot stand alone without the help of any other sentence for example look at the example of the main clause main clause i told you it makes complete meaning it gives you the complete meaning of the sentence for example i finished copying the notes that is a complete sentence from that sentence you can understand i finished completing all the notes it is a complete sentence look at the second example ravi is playing football ravi is playing football that is also has got a meaning and it is a complete sentence it does not need any help of any other sentence to complete it but look at the example of the subordinate clause subordinate clause only half is given there are eating what does that mean are eating who is eating or what are they eating that we don't know so this are eating it means that it has to depend upon some other words or some other sentence to get the complete meaning for example i have written here the children are eating food now this is a complete sentence you get the meaning the children are eating food but here we don't know the correct meaning the meaning is not complete there only half is completed are eating so main i mean subordinate clause or dependent clause always depends upon another sentence to get the correct meaning of the full sentence so the children are eating food now the second one the old house what does that tell you the old house what is the state of the old house or where is the old house so you how will you describe the old house so i have written here the old house was very dark so that gives you a meaning of the sentence the old house was very dark you have read in the lesson studied in the first lesson the house at the back the house at the back it was always the very big house it was a very old house it was always covered in darkness and it was always very very quiet so this makes complete meaning only after we are adding some more words or sentences here so that is the meaning of subordinate clause and main clause now there is one exercise given there exercise j read these clauses tick those that are complete sentences underline one phrase in each the path number 1 the path was overgrown with weeds and grass now the path was overgrown with weeds and grass it is a complete sentence yes and the phrase underlined there are weeds and grass now second one if miss brown was not a real person that is not a complete sentence so number 2 is wrong third one number 3 <coughs> that had e b monogrammed on it that is also not a complete sentence so number 3 is also wrong number 4 when they heard the gardener call out when they heard the gardener call out is it a complete sentence no so number 4 is also wrong 5 the two girls went towards miss brown's house that makes a complete meaning the two girls went towards miss brown's house so number 5 is right 
it is a complete sentence number 6 she was staring with wide eyed shock she was staring with shock at what at something that we don't know so i think that is also a complete sentence number 7 while we were in there that is not complete only half is given there while we were in there so that is not a complete sentence and the last one i think we should be going to the play now that is a meaningful sentence so it is complete now i think we should be going to the play now that is a complete sentence now in this exercise we have also to underline the phrases so underline the phrases means first one they have underlined weeds and grass second one if miss brown was not a real person so the phrase is real person i'll be sending you the answers afterwards third one that had eb monogrammed on it monogrammed on it when they heard the gardener call out gardener call out five the two girls went towards miss brown's house yes towards miss brown's house six she was staring with wide eyed shock wide eyed shock seven while we were in there while we were eighth one i think we should be going to the play now to the play now so are these answers i'll send you all afterwards now take page 15 exercise k listen and speak listen to the parts of the story being read out tick the correct sentence summarizing each part now two two examples are given there you have to tick the correct one all of you all have read the lesson you all know what the lesson is about so you should be able to get the correct answer two for example number one the old colonial house was very quiet and eerie making both the girls nervous the old colonial house was quiet and eerie making both the girls nervous is that the correct one or b the old colonial house was very dark and eerie making vandana very nervous actually the two girls were very nervous so the first one is correct exercise k first one is correct second one vandana found it strange that there were so many old things in the house but Indu did not want to add to her suspicions. Is that the correct one? Or Vandana found it strange that there were many, so many old things in the house. But Indu found it charming. There also second one A is correct. Third one. Vandana was shocked that the path was overgrown with weeds and grass. B. Both Vandana, Indu and Vandana were shocked that the path was not graveled and lined with flowers like it was the previous night. So the third one is B. Now next exercise is work in pairs and play a guessing game based on various kinds of stories. Take turns to frame clues and ask questions. Begin with a statement about the kind of story. Your partner must then ask you for more clues in the form of questions. You may use the kind of stories mentioned in the box or think of your own. See children, this we are not able to do now. Only while we are in the class, we can discuss with each other and then do it in the class after we reopen. Same way exercise M also. It is a letter of complaint. Imagine you are Hindu, you feel very sad that Miss Brown's once beautiful house is in ruins. So write a letter of complaint to the town councillor explaining the importance of preserving old heritage buildings. So some hints are given there. Mention that you are staying in the house next door. Explain why you are saddened by the state of Miss Brown's house. State what action you would like them to take. Maintain the place well, convert it into a museum and so on. 
use formal language remember to include your name address and contact details you all know how to start, write a letter you all know the format of writing a letter but this is a letter of complaint i think it is best that we do it in class when we meet each other okay thank you children